located in one of the most affluent communities in Jamaica, in the hills of St. Andrew. You know, see, I don't know where you come from. Get a youth. This is the home of David Mavada Brooks, who has not set foot on Jamaican soil in over two years. Them no in my leg. No in my leg. The artist is scheduled to make his very first appearance since at Rebel Salute 2016. David. Thanks for having big us. Boss. <laughs> Thanks for Respect. having us. Blessed love. Long time no see, man. Yeah, real talk. All right. So, what kept you away for, for so long, for two years? Well, they don't know what's going on. Sometimes they have, you know, things that you just definitely have to deal with. So, you know, that was just one of my main things in life that, you know, I had to really, you know, hold a vibe and stay away for a time and you know, make sure some start it out. You understand? Okay. Some immigration issues we're talking about, right? Yeah, that's apartheid too. Okay. Don't know, it wasn't anything, you know, as it seems, as all people make it seems. You understand me? Mm -hmm. but so all that is now good resolved, enough, right? Good now. Good now. <laughs> can, can go to and fro. Because we, we also noticed, when I heard, I was on the cruise with the Marlies, yeah. and they were announced as the next, uh, as one of the next list of artists to appear in 2016. Golly God. And big forward going when, when that was announced. Oh. So right there and then, I suspected that everything was now cool with your, with your travel documents. It's not easy, you know. <laughs> so so and, it, and, and right after that, now, <laughs> we, we learned that you are in Jamaica, and you came last week, right? Yeah. So what's this Just like? coming on us there yeah, with the family, I don't know. You know the whole family yeah, is here? Yeah, 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 my kids, them there. Yeah. You know, the rest of the family back in America, I don't know. Okay. So I'm just there yeah, with the kids, them like, you know? I go and chill out with them for a couple of days. And you know. from coming, I'm not even to go out like that. Must just one or two times go out. Yeah, just I go and chill with the family because you don't know over two years, you get me? Yes, and if, what is it like, I mean, to be away from, from Paradise, Jamaica for so long? So. True, man. Wicked, man. You wicked? Yeah, man. You don't know. We love Jamaica, man. Yes. You don't know when we're going for it. No matter what, no matter which part we go into the world. Jamaica is always a place, all right? That's our art, always stay. Because all this time you kept a relevance in the space where I hear you, get rotated. It's almost yeah. as if you're not overseas, you're, you're, you're here in Jamaica. In the past, um, artists who are living offshore, yeah. especially dancehall artists. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mash up. Are, yeah, are more or less irrelevant in, yeah, in, in yeah, a sense yeah, when they yeah. try to do music because it, yeah. it is said that they need to be in the vibe. They need to mm -hmm, have mm -hmm. the street cred and those things. Yeah. But you seem to have been able to maintain. Yeah, because I mean, we already we we al we already been have the street cred. Mm -hmm. You don't know Winford. Remember over the years, the amount of things Gully got been show. Remember that you know you you are even one of the main person that used to tell the Gully God, yo, you know you have to get things sort out and. You know, no way I do. Mm -hmm. You don't know me as a youth like this way. People talk, me, me listen, you know, pick sense out of nonsense, you know, and do the things that I know I have to do. Yes. You understand me? And that's what I've done. Mm -hmm. You understand me? I mean, enough people say, yo, Golly God gone, Golly God left Jamaica, Golly God sell out Jamaica. Your music <laughs> did not reflect that, because, or does <laughs> not reflect that, because yeah. you. Though you flirted somewhat with hip hop, I you, don't flirt with hip hop. Hip hop flirted me. Uh, well, whatever it is, I'm Gully God with and so on. Winford, remember a Gully God, you know? Yeah. If me remember, you, know, you none, stayed none, true to none that. Of these, none of these hip hop artists, Gully God never went to them and, and asked them to do a song. Okay. They all sent for me. So is them. With, with all due respect. Okay. You understand me? And so I, you and I, I, and I respect them just the same, so. Yeah. And it's, 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 it's music. So you were always focused on being true to dance or? Always. Always win for. They know I'm find so much big song. Yeah. Win for the watches. Oh, I'm go away for over two years. I still can't find the biggest song and some of the biggest song. Mm -hmm. And remember, you know, this, is not, this is not like Golly God is a new artist. You know. I'm here since 2005. Same. Yeah. You understand me? And I'm go away for like Say ah for my career. What have you missed in this time that you couldn't leave the U.S. in terms of calls from places for you to perform and so on? 
I mean, a lot of places. The music's so big, you know, and you know, it evolves so much. Yes. That, you know, I know even after a time, you know, I just end up getting back all those same calls. Okay. You know, that, 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 and it has been going on even right now. Yeah, because they. Because most people just want to know that Golly God can. Can travel. Can travel. We can't even stay at home and, and gain the things them that we really want to gain in life. You understand? Because, I mean, if you can't think about it, the pan Jamaica, they might leave and we keep shows down here. How much show, how much big show keep at Jamaica for the year? That me, Golly God, and every other else artist can eat from. So at the end of the day, we have, we have to go out there and plant the music different places in order to eat. Because watch this, when we come home, in Mr. Williams, we have a whole heap of family and friends mm -hmm. that okay. want something, no matter how small it is. Most, most, most of the dance hall, tapest artists, them, them can't even travel. Trust me, that, that, that wicked. As a dance hall artist, you know, say, oh, the world wants to see you, and you can't travel. I mean, I've been going through these things, you know. You know, Mr. Williams, remember, I got through these things for like around seven years of my career, you know. I got through it 2007 yes. for a year. I mm -hmm. go back through it 2010 for two years. And I go back through it for like four years again. Mm -hmm. Or four and a half years to five years. Most, people, most places never see me yet. You know what I mean? Um, even Canada. I've, I haven't been to Canada for how many years. Just the other day is the first I've been there back. Soul out shows, so, all of them. So your message to the youths in the music, in dance hall, is what? I mean, just keep your head up, man. Mm. Keep on doing the music, cause, you know? You're done to the fight, and we as ghetto youth, we never stop fight. No matter all we want, is just a chance to go out there. And once we go out there, you can bring us back. Because mm. we ain't going back. As Jamal, as Jamil said, we're not frightened for us, Pandil. All of these things are just part of our ambition. So watch this, I can't tell you this. If even vibes did out of the road right now, I feel I could have pointed over that side and say, yes, yeah, see most of the way over there, so we're for yeah. yeah, Vibes want to do these things too. What's going on with you on Dean, man? Dean. <laughs> uh, uh, nothing can go on with me and being there. I'm being in the, in the same league. Oh, really? You understand me? Big man thing. Being there himself know that. I mean, I do a song and I say, get to them chill like the doc and go see man. Remember, him say, see me, see you know? So what do you mean by he's not in your league? He's not. In what way? In no way at all. Okay. The things that my name, but where being in him call for my name, not call for that. So, I don't know where I go. Watch this now. A couple of years ago, you know. Remember, sir, Bean come cry in front of the TV. I don't know if I call him, call everybody. <laughs> I wear him do, but him just a cry, so. And I say, Golly God, say this and Golly God, that and Golly God. You understand me? So, I don't know how it come back to this. That you feel like you can't do a song and try to style me. I attack. And I just pure stupidness, I attack. Boy, it doesn't even make sense, but. I know I've been that way, you know, him just a try to get a hype. He feel like Golly God got to say something about him now. And, you know, he feel as if he can't eat off of that. But, me and him just not in another league there. A different league thing, this. And he know that too. Mm -hmm. What is that? Warlord. <laughs> what are they now? No good again? Uh, it's easy. Yeah. You don't know. At the end of the day, I can't eat him. Mm -hmm. No matter what. Even if you see me and him no deal for the longest while and thing. I can't eat him, but you know, killer style is a man just say something sometime and probably him do not think or you know, so I just laugh. Just like even with you when he do the interview with you and he must say, boy, I'm paying for my father's casket and him buy my first passport and this and that. And none of these things, I don't know which part DJ get these things from. When me have passport and get visa and go foreign, killer, do you even know that? A call killer get from, from foreign. I'd make him know so I reach a foreign. When my, remember in a Winford, my father dropped out 2005, you know, mm -hmm. September, you know, and him take like around six, seven months, you know, for, you know, for a burial, you know, in Jamaica, you know, because, you know, Switzerland and 
them, them deal, deal with Oma side different. 2005, Christmas, Golly God was one of, the, one of the hottest young artists. 2006, February, March to April when my father buried. Me like one of the biggest things. Me have money in my pocket every day. Me I buy a bike, give my friend them. Me I buy a car, I'm, I'm a friend them, I drive. Mm -hmm. Me spend like three, four hundred grand for burying my whole man. So oh, you could have said something like that. But you don't know in general that still, as I say. I just say that, but I just vexed to the fuck how oh, him deal with it because they don't know even my, even my bigger ones, them. Like even my bigger brother and my bigger sister, them, you know. Them, them, them hurt. And even the younger ones, them, because they say, yo, what can I talk that? But, you know, as, as I say, I general that, so I okay, <laughs> cool. watch that still. There are some developments since you've left. You have the gully bop phenomenon. Yeah. Um, what do you make of the From the gully to the money. To, from the gully to the money. Yeah. And sometimes we call him gully like you. <laughs> 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 what do you make of him? Well, I don't know. Gully bop, proud of him still. Huh? Same. You don't know, I mean, you know, if you know that a man who used to fix a fan can come up and you know, him can say, every girl want to walk off of me, you know, mm. and the whole world want to see him. And, you know, you know, I, it's just one day, I just the woman, you know, I flirt and my brother sent me the video and I say, yo, run a grand spend, you know, Ray, and, and I run a five, me there. Yeah. Send me the video and say, yo, look on this and Ray. And my brother can send it to me you now and thing. And I say, yo, you know, a grand spend, oh, all right, I'm going to go and put it up on my phone. On my, on my Instagram and thing and see everybody start say yo sign him sign him you know and one bag of thing and the next day the man had the biggest thing <laughs> <laughs> oh yes <laughs> all right so that's, yeah. you have the alkalines <laughs> you're my brethren by the way alkaline yeah, alkaline good man you don't you're know Alka that man he's one of your friend friends you seem to have a lot of friends in the business in spite of the the, the I mean the, the I have a couple like of friends yes. and I have a couple of associates yes who you are some of your, your friends in real bread drink in our business? I'm bread in, in, no, in no. the build, in the business. I mean, yeah. and everything I'm talking about in Winford. Because sometimes I don't want people to know some of them and they're really friends. You know. okay. So I have some boy in the business who love go around people and talk. Okay. And chat a bag of things. Like them a girl pick me. You understand me? So sometimes I'm not even really, I'm not even want you to know say, I'm my friend that. Okay. And I'm my friend that. But just know say, I have a couple of friends out there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I live good. <laughs> I mean, we have to do that because yeah. the youth them nah, nah this way. Yeah. You know, as looking at your catalogue, when you were announced yeah. as a headliner at Rebel Salute, yeah. you know, the first thing we're going to do, him can fit. Oh, God yeah, God can't fit. Them, them gonna do it already. Oh, Remember know. a couple of years ago? Yes. We do it already, and you know, Rebel Salute is a different show, so mm -hmm. it's not even like me go out there and say, yo, full clip on. And body top, like a mm. back then sting or something. No, but I, I was about to say this that when you look at like, your catalog, this is a David Brooks. It's easily fit, uh, fit into Rebel Salute. Yeah, easily. easily. Even though you're a rude boy, bad boy artist, easily. you have enough of a catalog. Mo too. Most of my songs very biblical, Mr. Williams. Okay. Because David name in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> so what won't we get at Rebel Salute, though? I just sing the real music. You know, songs like Whoop and Pray, no? Mm -hmm. Songs like definitely even if I left the gully, don't worry. You know what I mean? And you know, I sing those songs like eight years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and even today, those songs are very relevant. So it will be an inspirational set. Definitely. Same, same. Definitely. Well, Bridging, much respect. We we'll look forward to next week at Rebel Salute. Oh. That will be special. That will be Definitely. very special. The homecoming performance. Definitely. And watch this now, Mr. Williams. You know, I'm there and we just, you know, we just have all the vibes, putting the work on the music and no bad vibes. Okay. Don't know. Well, I sense that. I sense you in a good mood, <laughs> good spirit. Good, positive vibe, Bavada Brooks. Respect. Blessed Bloody. love, sir. Thanks for having us at your home. Your Real rich home, <laughs> overlooking <laughs> <Tana Mani>. Kingston. <laughs> yeah, man. Tanto Black. <laughs> <laughs> real rich. <laughs> this is real rich right here. All right, there you have him on our stage, David Mavada Brooks. Winford oh. Williams, on behalf of the hardworking crew, thanking you for joining us. We'll join us again next week 
for another on stage. I make you feel, I make you feel like me fire. This is a good coach, I tell you. Get up on the press and matter who that I am. This is a good coach, I tell you. Make you feel, I make you feel like me fire. This is a good coach, I tell you. Get up on the press and matter who that I am. This is a good coach, I tell you. Hi, thanks for watching our video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and enjoy so much more where that came from. Lord, I haven't done anything. They're the ones who interfere with me over the years, but God didn't want to hear that love has no pride. Somebody tell me that years ago and now I see what it meant.